joined now by Captain Mark Kelly. He's the co-founder of America's for Responsible Solutions. The husband, of course, of former Congresswoman Gabby Giffords, and he is a retired NASA astronaut like most of us are. Captain, thanks for joining us. The Republicans still talk about the Second Amendment. Donald Trump puts it, talks more about guns in his speech generally than Hillary Clinton does. Are you on the side of the voters, you think, at this point, or both sides have their adherence? Well, Gabby and I are both gun owners. You know, I'm a strong supporter of the Second Amendment. On a lot of this stuff, 90% of the voters are with us. I mean, when you look at issues about background checks and domestic violence legislation, I mean, that resonates with people. Right. And so why, why, why do you think Republicans are still talking about it? Are they making a mistake? Well, I think, he's talk, I think he's talking to his base, uh -huh. you know, his base who, and, and, and if you stay away from actually explaining what the specifics are of the policy you are talking about, you know, that sends, when you, when you mention things, the, the control word, gun control, people don't like to be controlled. So if you talk about things in those terms, that resonates with, with his base. However, if, you know, you want to talk sensible, sensibly about the issue, you talk about background check legislation, domestic violence, 90% right. of Americans support You've that. been traveling around by bus and otherwise and, and talking to a lot of people doing events. Give me a state or a race where you think your positions on gun safety is sort of breaking through and could actually impact the outcome. So the New Hampshire Senate race, mm -hmm. Governor Kelly Hassan against, against Kelly, Governor Hassan. Yep. Kelly Kelly Ayotte. We went up on TV really early in this race, right? And we spent a lot of money there. And we we did an, we did an ad about background checks, about how Senator Kelly Ayotte does not support background checks for for gun sales. She voted against the Mansion Toomey bill. A day after we went up on on TV, she went up with an ad that said she actually supports background checks and did vote on it. Now she voted for a bill that said background checks in it that was supported by the gun lobby. It did not expand background checks for gun sales. So when you, when you look at that race, I mean, if, if you would have went back just two years ago, would a Republican U.S. Senator from New Hampshire in her campaign ads that she's paying for say, would, would that person say she was supporting background checks for gun sales? Absolutely not. So we've come a long way on this issue. And that's true in, in, in other races as well. Mark, let me ask you this question about, about the state of how things are being, how this issue is being discussed at the presidential level. You have, you know, Donald Trump, Donald Trump making a, some fairly uh, dramatic claims about what Hillary Clinton would do if she became president in terms of gun rights. It seems like, at least among some number of gun owners, there's a lot of panic going on about what will happen if she becomes president. You're seeing some gun manufacturers doing pre-Hillary Clinton election sales on semi-automatic weapons and so on. Do you think that the tenor of the presidential campaign will make it harder to advance common sense gun solutions in your, the views, the ones that you think are common sense after election day or after Hillary Clinton takes office if she's president? Well, you know, I, I don't want to go down the path that if Hillary did not get elected president, but, but speaking to uh, Hillary being elected and becoming president on January 20th, you know, she's committed to doing something on this issue. She has a record and policy positions, and she wants to, you know, expand background checks. She needs the Congress to do that. She wants to pass domestic violence legislation. And keep in mind about, you know, gun sales, the gun lobby is going to look for pretty much every opportunity uh, to sell firearms. And I don't, I don't have a problem with that as long as they're selling the firearms to responsible people. I'm a gun owner myself. I own six guns. If you sell a gun with a background check and you're not selling it to a felon or a domestic abuser, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you're giving people jobs, you know, largely in, in Connecticut and, you know, other, you know, other places. So, um, you know, we're, we're, we're hopeful that uh, we're going to continue to move this in, the, in a positive direction. Got just less than a minute left. If Hillary Clinton wins, if Paul Ryan remains Speaker of the House, she's been pretty specific about the kind of gun safety measures she'd like to see. What would you say to Paul Ryan about whether he should let those things get through the House? Well, I would say, let, well, let, let's have a vote. You know, let, let, let these measures get to the floor of the House of Representatives so members of Congress can vote on them, and we'll see what happens then.